Mushrooms have been used as a medicine for centuries. The psilocybin species, in particular, have been used in psychotherapy. Mushrooms and Depression, an Australian perspective. Psilocybin is the active compound in magic mushrooms. It is a psychedelic drug. Back in 1968, the Medical Journal of Australia argued that there is undoubtedly scope for the legitimate use of psychedelic substances in psychiatry. A few years later, in 1972, the Royal Australian and New Zealand College of Psychiatrists claimed that there is a distinctive place for such drugs in the treatment of intractable anxiety. Nearly 50 years later, however, psilocybin is still yet to fulfil its, quote, distinctive and legitimate role in Australian psychiatry. One reason for this, according to a paper published in the Australian and New Zealand Journal of Psychiatry, is that human research ethics committees in Australia have been dismissive of the data from around the world that demonstrates the safety and the promising results of psilocybin. So, what evidence is there that psilocybin can be useful in the treatment of depression? In 2016, the Lancet Journal of Psychiatry published the results from a trial that used psilocybin in conjunction with psychotherapy to treat patients who had treatment-resistant depression. What this means is that these patients had been treated for depression in the past, on at least two different occasions, with at least two different types of antidepressant drugs, and had failed to respond. As a result, these patients had been stuck with their depression for nearly 18 years on average. These were not the easy nuts to crack. Following their treatment with psilocybin, a remarkable result was obtained. Two thirds of patients in this trial achieved remission from depression, with 58% of them remaining in remission, cured of their intractable depression, for three months after the trial, without a single follow-up dose of psilocybin. These long-lasting effects of psilocybin are due to the intense experience that it enables the patient to have. Though the drug wears off in six hours or so, from that point in time, the patient is set on a new mental track where they see themselves and the whole world differently. These kinds of results have been seen in many trials using psilocybin. One study, published late in 2016, focused on patients who were severely anxious about their impending deaths. They had been diagnosed with terminal cancer. The study found that psilocybin, in conjunction with psychotherapy, brought about rapid and sustained improvements in 70% of these patients. These results were corroborated again by another study in 2016, which found substantial decreases in depression for 80% of terminal patients. These outcomes were sustained in both cases for at least six months after the trials had ended. It is important here to note that every patient in these studies were watched closely by a team of medical professionals. They were prepped before their psilocybin sessions, supported during and afterwards. This was not a recreational activity, and it does not prove the safety or effectiveness of taking mushrooms with your friends. Psilocybin is a strong and powerful substance. That is why it has potential in the treatment of depression, but it's also why it must be handled cautiously. In the end, it's the psilocybin in conjunction with the psychotherapy that makes this treatment both effective and safe. The data from the Lancet study also showed that even in a medical setting, with every safeguard put in place, psilocybin can and often does provoke anxiety, confusion, nausea, and headaches. These side effects are almost always mild and temporary. In fact, in over 600 doses of psilocybin given to patients in recent trials, there has never been a single serious or sustained adverse event. Back home in Australia, we have a problem with depression. We're taking more antidepressants than ever in our history. On a per capita basis, we prescribe more antidepressants than any other country on earth except Iceland. What role psilocybin will play in our future 
remains a story to be told. If you've enjoyed this presentation, please feel free to take and share this ebook that I've prepared. It's designed to give a primer on the science of psilocybin and its use in treating depression.